In today's mathematical exercise, I will try to solve a fun system equation with cars. Again, I have four rows where I have to find the sum of the fourth row. But first, I need to find the value of the addends. The first addend is the car Hennessy. I believe this is the fastest car for 2020. 2021, maybe another one. So, 3 Hennessy's equals 42. That should be what 14. 42 divided by 3. 3 by 4. 12. Yes, I think it's 14. Now, the second row, I have to find the value of the Volvo. Volvo, that was... Uh, what car was that? <laughs> okay. Now, what I do is to subtract the Hennessy from 20. That will equal 6 divided by 2 is 3. So, the Volvo should be equal 3. 3, 3, 3, nah. <laughs> I'm trying. And the third row, I have the Bugatti. I have to find the value of the Bugatti. How to do that? Now again, subtracting the value of the Volvo from 39. That will be 36 divided by 2. 18, right? And if I'm correct, the Hennessy plus the Volvo plus the Bugatti should equal 20, 30, 32, 35. 35. Correct. The second equation, I have the Chevrolet on the first row. This is some new version of the Chevrolet. The old Chevrolets were long and cornered or something. Anyway, the value of the three Chevrolets is 45. Now I will divide 45 by 3 to find it is 15, right? 15 and 15, 30 and 15, 45. Okay, <clears throat> I got the value of the Chevrolet. The second row, I have two Dacia and a Chevrolet. Again, I will subtract the Chevrolet from 37. That will equal uh, 22 divided 22 divided by 2 is 11. Right? And then the third row, I have to find the value of the Lexus. Again, I will subtract the Dacia from 33. That should equal 22 divided by 2. Again, 11. Two 11s is odd, but not strange enough. So, 15 plus 11, 26. Plus 11, 37. Let's see. Correct. And now the last equation is the hardest. I have three Peugeot. 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 <laughs> Peugeot. This is a French car. How, to, how, how is that pronounced? Peugeot. Equals 63. Now, because these are two big values uh, and my brain is already fried, I will use the lazy calculator. Now, I will divide first 63 by 3. Mm. Wait. 63 divided by 3 equals 21. So, the Peugeot should be 21. The second row I have to find the Toyota. Again, from 77, I will subtract 21. 
7 minus 21. This equals 56. I have to divide this by 2. Right? 56 divided by 2 is 28. This is hard. <laughs> so the Toyota, uh, I think this is a Japanese car. It's 28. And the third row, we have the German old Trabant. <laughs> These cars are antiques, but they were mm, in the Cold War. They were a very popular car. <clears throat> well, because I'm dinosaur, I know these things, I think. But let's see, what is the value of the Trabant? This is 34 minus 28. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Minus 28. Ah, 20. What? What? Wait. What's that? Okay. Now it's 6 divided by 2, 3. It is a small number it is exactly what the Trabant should receive and if uh, I have made this correctly well not I but the calculator the mm -hmm, goes to him 21 uh, that should be 49 52 52 should be the sum uh, the Pe Peugeot, the Toyota, and the Trabant. Let me see again. Uh, yes. Yes. Yes, that's correct. Alright, I got my new knowledge level. That should be the exercise for today, with the help of the calculator. But, there one more system equation and I'm moving to mathematical tasks with uh, what's, what are they called? Well, we'll see. If you are curious, see you next time. Until new meetings then.